Hello students, welcome back to programming in C subject. This is Srikant. The previous video we had discussed about we had discussed about the unit 1 and unit 2 syllabus according to the Usmani University okay uh, 2020. See today we try to cover the main agenda of this session is we try to cover remaining two units unit 3 and unit 4 topics as per your syllabus and uh, prescribed books reference books and also we discussed exam pattern question paper model question paper and uh, model question paper pattern we try to discuss in this session okay yeah so this is what we discussed in the previous session programming in C the unit one consists computer fundamentals topic program fundamentals algorithms basics of C in the unit two we discussed already in the previous videos input output topics control statements arrays and strings just we discussed about what are the topics are there in unit one and what are the topics are there in unit two we had discussed in the previous videos previous sessions okay so today we try to discuss about unit 3 programming in C language okay the first topic is functions okay so what is functions why why should we implement functions in programming before functions all the functionalities or business logics everything is written in the main function only so getting more burden of the main function because number of statements are increases within the main function due to that difficult to debugging the program difficult to identifying the errors in the program and difficult to separate business logic from one business logic to another business logic because complete all the business logic is going to be written only one function called main function okay to overcome that problem the unit 3 we are going to be learning one topic called functions see you, functions provides a solution for code reusability uh, code reusability and uh, using functions we can also avoid uh, the problems for what debugging issues okay what are the topics are there in function see functions majorly categorized by what built-in functions user defined functions okay the built-in functions we try to cover all built-in header files like stdio.h conio.h ctype.h string.h like inbuilt header files can see several inbuilt functions are there we try to discuss in detail about all the built-in functions with example programs okay math.h consists mathematical functions and so on those functions are provided in built through some header files so using functions we can also learn here customized functions user defined functions we can also create our own functions like add function subtraction function multiplication function division function okay and we can also like uh, prime uh, finding the prime number whether the given number is prime number or not we can write our own functionality prime functions armstrong numbers fibonacci series like factorial of a given number like we can create our user defined functions here we'll discuss in detail okay how to create user defined functions what are the steps involved for creating user defined uh, functions what are the steps and uh, how to develop user defined functions we'll discuss in detail in the functions the topics there without return type without arguments are there without return type with argument functions are there with return type without argument functions are there with return type with arguments functions also there we'll discuss in detail several examples with the different parameters using this functions topic another important topic is call by value call by reference very important for examination okay what is call by value what is call by reference 
what is the problem with the call by value why should we use call by reference uh, we'll discuss programmatically and arrays to functions examples what is variable say in the beginning unit 1 there we'll discuss in the program fundamentals and basics of C what is variable okay types of variables what is the scope of variables there we'll discuss in functions we can discuss in detail about what the scopes of the variables in C language auto register static extend like that we'll discuss in detail with the storage classes and the scope of the variables we'll discuss in detail in the functions topic in the unit 3 some inline functions what is inline functions with example program and recursions okay direct recursions indirect recursions we'll discuss with the several examples example programs in the functions topics in the unit 3 two topics are there main topics functions and pointers functions again consist several subtopics are there we try to discuss each and everything with example programs coming to pointers okay what is pointer okay why should we use pointers see anything changes occurred in some functionality how to reflect that changes to the some other function functionalities okay then pointers takes very major role for uh, do such kind of operations okay uh, we'll discuss about what is ampersand operator okay use what is the mean use of pointers how to implement arrays and pointers pointers using strings pointers to pointers array of pointers pointer to array and also we'll discuss here dynamic memory allocations like mlloc calloc reallocations pre functions like how to allocating a memory how to deallocating a memory within the program we'll discuss dynamic memory allocations i try at runtime how to allocate the memory okay that topic we'll discuss in detail in the dynamic memory allocation concept see in unit 3 majorly categorized by two topics functions another one called pointers okay coming to unit 4 this is the last unit as per your academic uh, unit 4 again majorly categorized to two parts first one is called user defined data types second one is files topic okay in the user defined data type uh, here we'll discuss in detail about structures unions okay what is structure okay in structure how to declare different data types okay structure is nothing but what collection of different types of elements allocating in contiguous memory allocation okay don't worry with the definitions we'll discuss in detail in the structure topic uh, what is structure syntax of, syntax of the structure how to declare different data types within the structure and uh, how to initialize the structured variables and uh, how to access that structured variables okay uh, array of structures how to implement arrays within the structures and uh, uh, this is about what structures structures topics so structure is what user defined data type okay what is the behavior of structure how to define different data types within the structure how to declare how to initialize how to access uh, structured in structured concepts we'll discuss in detail similarly union another user defined data types are, is there union the same thing what is union how to declare different data members within the union what is the problem in the union okay and we'll discuss how to initialize how to access the data from the union okay we'll discuss in detail with the user defined data types topic in unit 4 okay uh, definitely in examination there is a chance to ask difference between structures and unions okay i'm providing clear differences uh, one's table okay just go through that once okay it may consist several points included the difference between structure and uh, union next enumeration types okay what is enumeration what is uh, what is the keyword enum okay how to implement enumeration types okay uh, how to declare constraints integral constraints within the enum okay how to initialize how to access 
we'll discuss in the enumeration types that comes under what unit 4 in the unit 4 the second topic is files okay already you're all familiar about files right you can able to open the file write some data into the file okay we can modify the data in the file whenever we can uh, we required we can get to that file information we can close the file see this is about basic file operations generally we are doing uh, in the normal notepad wordpad different kinds of uh, text applications document related application okay but coming to programming how to generate files programmatically through program whatever the output information like i want to save some student information i want to store some employee information okay after performing some business logic operation i want to save or insert that all the data into one file then we are learning it programmatically these files concept file operations like what is file what is the syntax of file how to open a file how to create a file dynamically how to uh, insert some data into the file okay how to modify the file data how to fetch the data from the files uh, how to fetch the data from the files and how to copy the file from one file to another file we'll discuss in detail in this files concept through programmatically with the help of programs we can generate files okay see uh, this is what in the unit 4 consists files topic using files in C working with the different files like text files and binary files like similarly you can go with what blob and glob okay binary large objects character large objects text files and binary files files of records random access to files of records some other file management functions okay say so we may expect uh, some questions in the file what is file explain file operations in c language with example programs okay and uh, input to file functions output to file functions there is a chances to ask okay a at present i won't mention those input file functions output file functions because you're all totally beginner to this programming just i'm telling what are the topics are involved in which unit okay see this is what complete four units of your academic programming in C language okay see just observe this is the four units what we discussed unit one consists computer fundamentals program fundamentals algorithms basics of C unit two input output control statements arrays and strings unit three consists functions and pointers unit four consists user defined data types and uh, files Coming to the prescribed book, say Pradeep Day Manas Ghosh. So the book name is Computer Fundamentals and Programming in C, second edition. So this is a prescribed book. You can uh, take it out these books. The some several reference books are also mentioned here. Beginning C, Programming in C, Complete Reference C, C How to Program problems of programming with C, the C programming language, a structured programming approach using C. Okay. You can also refer with the, re refer with these books. See, coming to the model question paper. Okay. So many students are uh, difficult to understand or so many students not understood. Uh, what is a pattern of examination? Okay. See, coming to our academic uh, 2020. See, this is a pattern. Uh, exam three hours maximum marks 80 okay theoretical marks 80 marks 20 marks internal marks see in it consists two sections part a and part b part a consists answer any eight questions in part a okay each unit they may give four three short questions see question number one two three short answers it is okay uh, in the four units as we discussed previously on the four unit each unit they may give three questions okay short questions you need to write you need one consists three you need to consist three you need to three you need four like each unit they may give three three questions so you can write randomly any eight questions okay uh, each question carries four marks the total is what 32 marks in the part a answer any eight questions okay 
each unit may give three questions like that uh, for four units how many questions 12 questions are there out of 12 you need to write eight questions each question carries how much marks four marks the total marks you may get 32 marks eight fours 32 marks clear about the part a in the model question paper coming to part b two sections there part b in part b you must answer all questions you must attend each unit one question is mandatory okay they may give sometimes uh, each question a b a b like that but one option is definitely there but you must attend one question from each unit that is mandatory okay see uh, unit one they will provide two question okay one is optional your wish you can select either 13 or 14 you need to similarly two questions they give one question is optional 15 or 16 you need to three same 17 or 18 any one question you need to write you need to four 19 or 20 you need to write any one of the question say must write each unit must write one question is mandatory sometimes if question paper comes tough they may give two questions in 13 only they may give a question and a b question you must write both a and b also okay each question carries how much marks here 12 marks each question carries how much marks 12 marks 12 into 4 48 marks okay 48 marks and 32 marks the total is what 80 marks question you need to write for theory exams okay yeah this is the exam pattern model question paper okay uh, with effect from the academic year 2019 and it is also similar for 2020 also okay thank you all for listening these sessions okay yeah the remaining uh, topics about lab and everything will discuss in the next coming videos okay